Are you allowed to wear sunglasses in jail? Only one guard present to release an entire block of prisoners. Lone guard investigates missing prisoner on his own instead of calling in backup or sounding alarm. Prisoner fakes hanging with entire hallway and window behind him revealing his trickery. You schmuck. Guard keeps reading after letter opens with you schmuck. Also, guy who hangs himself writes a note that tips off that he's not really dead and hopes this works. A single upward blow should not knock a grown man out. Walks out without making sure the guard is unconscious. Also, is he wearing street clothes in prison? Also, are there no other f***ing guards anywhere that can stop this escape attempt? Man pouring gasoline outside police station goes unnoticed. No police saw this escaping prisoner between his cell and the front door? Now where the f*** were these guys during the escape? And why are they putting on their clothes? Was it part of the plan to use a gun to light the gas? You're hoping it will light on fire by shooting at it? Why didn't you just bring matches or a zippo? Oh my, they could never jump over that fire. It is way too high. There's this section here by the building that has no fire, and over on this side they could just hurdle the railing and get to their cars. Where is this cop coming from? Did the cops put out a distress call in the last 10 seconds? They are firing at them during a high-speed pursuit through town? All characters important to the story see the car chase happening. So they timed their escape to perfectly match the starting gun of this random beach truck rally? Totally smoking all the other cars that actually planned to win this race. Or do you have evidence that this is a little boy's room? Except for the f***ing gas mask! Asthma cliche. Sweats under shorts. Go into my bro's house. Better brush my hair. Pepsi paid for two product placements in the first 10 minutes of the film. I guess the Rube Goldberg gate opening machine wasn't turned on when Corey Feldman showed up. If your gate opening Rube Goldberg machine involves a chicken laying an egg, you can only have one guest a day. The gate could easily have been opened by Chunk just by reaching over and unlatching it. Rosalita doesn't speak a word of English. How does a non-Spanish speaking woman hire a non-English speaking maid? How does that conversation go? Pants and shirts are in the second. Doesn't speak a word of English, so let's give her tons of instructions on packing in English. Leave it to a bunch of preteen boys to think the penis is always supposed to point up. He is taking his third f***ing asthma hit in 10 minutes. He's brushing his hair again. Every kid in this movie has one repetitive, indefinite business action. Asthma kid has asthma, suave kid is always brushing his hair, fat kid is always eating, and the Asian kid is always Asian. Your dad has bunches of pirate stuff in the attic of this house that you've lived in for years and years and you've never once been to the attic? So basically this attic is a Spencer gift. 80s wonder music. Ye intruders beware. I know he knows Spanish, but he's reading that from that far away? I can't even make out the letters from this far away. Actual historians let real treasure maps slip through fingers and end up in attic storage. And then the, the British think they blew up the walls all around him. The British were not hanging around the Pacific Northwest in the 1600s. If Chester Copperpot didn't find it, how would we find it? Because if Chester Copperpot, renowned treasure hunter, didn't find it, no one will. Grab the map. Oh yeah, I might need this little rock stone metal thing too, so I'll just grab that in case. Well, you can give these papers to your father to uh, read through and sign. Official business and home takeover papers are not delivered in the rain to kids. It took 376 lawnmower jobs to pay for that! Well, it's not like letting the air out of tires causes monetary damage to the bicycle. Why would you buy this many groceries the day before your house is foreclosed on? Steven Spielberg bike fetish. Bye -bye. Brand is a dick to Asian kids on bikes that just happen to be around when he needs it. Where's Brand even going? He has no idea where Mikey and the others went. So long, sucker! Attempted murder. How does he even know to do this? Hey, and that's a summer place. What's it doing open in the fall? This guy would be excellent at cinema sins. Place where the kids need to go to follow the map just happens to be the same place where the prison escape bad guys are hiding out. These bullet holes do not match the ones from earlier. How the f*** did Bran find these kids? And how does he not have at least one broken bone from the attempted murder? Hey, you want to see something really scary? Look at that. Does he carry around a mirror just to make this joke? Also, how the f*** did the girls get here? They were in the car that threw Bran off the cliff. Listen to that. Oh, it's deep. Like there's a hole. These kids were having trouble finding the secret entrance in the floor, so the filmmakers decided to help them out. Local paper already has article about the guy who broke out of prison just a few hours after the escape. Also, there should be no apostrophe in Fratelli's. Some dead bodies must be disposed of, others can just be left in the freezer. Hey, we really liked you in Temple of Doom, let's cast you in a movie that's just like that. Oh, Data. Only problems. Batteries don't left so long. Battery flashlights last 10 seconds. I can describe all three of them. Chunk couldn't see this guy's face even a little bit. Water fountain trombone drinking. These kids are strong enough to pull on pipes so that bathroom fixtures get pulled out of the wall. Isn't this supposed to be a secret tunnel? There had to be people in this room recently to, you know, install the pipes. <laughs> this would definitely kill him. Lou Gehrig? Chester Copperpot carried baseball cards with him on his treasure hunting adventures. Rube Goldberg underground killing machine. The ropes used in these booby traps survived over 350 years in these caves without rotting away. But the worst thing I ever done 
I mixed the pot of fake puke at home, and then I went to this movie theater. The bad guys have allowed Chunk to talk for a really long time about stupid f that doesn't have any bearing on the issue at hand. Now do I get the truth? Where do you get truth? The coincidental timing of the bats being released by Brand is the only reason Chunk still has a hand. Uh, Martin Sheen. Martin, Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen, that's President Kennedy, you idiot! This kid is more familiar with Martin Sheen than John F. Kennedy. Because these are somebody else's wishes. Wishes don't come true. Asshole antagonist just happens to be at the well with his bros, just as the Goonies are underneath it. Trio of murderous villains whom we've only seen disposing of dead bodies in this movie decide to keep a 12-year-old witness alive for some reason. Pirate movie coincidentally playing on TV. Nice dig at your ex, but now you're gonna be freezing cold. <laughs> Being in captivity didn't make him angry enough to rip the chains out of the wall, but missing out on that baby Ruth sure did. Magic Asthma Kid just stumbles onto the stone key thing. This bowling ball on a track system would surely have broken down sometime in the last 350 years. Shattering teeth are strong. So are you supposed to fall down this shaft to continue following the map? He fell, nearly died on the spikes, and the next time we see them, everyone's down in this new room. How the f*** did this happen? These pipes should not be moving. <laughs> Someone apparently put in a sound effect CD right before this scene. Brand, you're shorter than normal, but f*** it. I'm gonna kiss you anyway. Even if you were going to invent an oil slick gizmo, why would you put that oil in your shoes? What? Where's the sudden surge of water coming from? I'm sure he's lucky these girls found and joined the Goonies back at the restaurant, because otherwise they would all die right here and now, in this bone piano room. There's water flowing freely throughout this wooden ship, and it hasn't sunk or disintegrated yet. I like how they all died around this table. They must have died in the middle of a staff meeting. I made it, I beat you. Protagonist brags to his vanquished foe before actually succeeding. Yo. How did these people get in here? Did they all climb down here in complete and total silence? Long enough, Mikey. Long enough, cliche. How did they get up here? The Goonies had to punch out a wooden plank and climb up in here. Also, why are they dry? Bad guys just let this kid do this shit instead of shooting him. Oh no, jump in the water. That'll definitely hurt. And why are only the girls' hands tied? Why didn't any of the guys get their hands tied? How did the booby trap pull up the ship's anchor and collapse the cave wall? Also, shouldn't all these kids be in very big trouble? Bad guys show up right on the beach where all the cops waiting to arrest them are. Racist subtitle. You're gonna live with me now. What? Did he consult anyone about this or just make a judgment call? Okay, the cops, the media, everybody's parents, but the f***ing foreclosure guys are also coincidentally on this beach at this exact moment? They even brought the cleaning lady to the beach? You have no idea how much those jewels are worth. It is way premature to be ripping up contracts and just assuming these jewels are worth an amount equal to a house. How did this ship turn? Who turned it? Cindy Lauper. I wasn't asking for anything, and besides, Jimmy was making nice money with me through my Pittsburgh connections. Still, months after the robbery, they were finding bodies all over. What is that? Back up. What the? This is CBS News live coverage of the scene from Midland, Texas. Dan Rather with Bruce Hall as uh, we uh, continue to uh, await uh, the next development, which uh, we believe will be... Uh, Jessica McClure coming up and out of Brown. Why'd you catch that? Because it was gonna fall. You're certain? Yeah. But it didn't fall. You caught it. Jay. Idiot. And Latin Jehovah starts with an I. We shouldn't even be here. It's like in the great stories, Mr. Frodo. The ones that really mattered. Folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going. You know what I would do on the last day before my house got foreclosed on and I had to move? Rather than risking life and limb seeking out some bullshit costume jewelry treasure, Hulu Plus! 
I just binge watch my favorite shows all damn day. So pretty much like any normal non-foreclosure day. If you go to HuluPlus.com slash sins and sign up right now, you could spend all day watching on your laptop, phone, tablet, or even a wacky mobile device invention created by Data. Okie dokie, Dr. Joe's horn here, potato! Sorry, wrong cliche. Like Shark Tank? Shark bait! Shark bait! <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel? I'm f Matt Damon. She's f Matt Damon. They got him. Live an active social life and want TV content on your schedule? Gimme, 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 I need, I uh. need. Go to HuluPlus.com slash sins today for a special two-week trial offer just for our viewers, which should make you feel very, very special. Another one, another one, and another one. And another one. Yeah.